Hey YouTube! So I did a video a little bit ago about traveling your own city and today I got to actually go out and explore a little bit in my city. So I'll show you some sketches I've done while traveling my city and I'll talk about what I've been doing. So how are you guys? I am going to do a video that's a bit of a haul, a bit of a uh, catch up, a bit of an explanation of what I've been doing with traveling my city. Uh, what have you guys been doing? How have you been traveling your city? If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. If you have seen it, what what have you learned new in your city? What have you done to make your city a place that you want to be in, a place that is exciting and entertaining or enjoyable for you? A couple weeks ago, I went to, well, I've been to the Pasco Flea Market, and I also went and explored in Pasco a little bit. Uh, this was from the Pasco Flea Market, and I'm going to put a little, like, a a table in there, so I was actually sitting at a table. Uh, this one's an urban sketch as well. And then uh, in Pasco also I did a sketch of a house that's like, it's an abandoned house it looks like. All the walls are uh, boarded up and everything, and then there's like corn. It's just like a cornfield in the backyard. And actually that's really, really neat about Pasco is like there's a ton of yards that just have really large plants. It reminds me of my grandma's garden. You don't see that as much in Kennewick and Richland. People still have gardens, but just not the crazy, ginormous, like awesome, fresh produce. So those are the drawings that I did. I'm also going to do a little bit of a haul. Fiesta Foods in Pasco, I got guayaba. Sorry, that's the Portuguese. Guava. I know it is guayaba. <laughs> so anyways, in either Portuguese or Spanish or English, guava, goyaba, um, but it's like a paste, and it's used to make, uh, well, I know how to use it to make tapioca, Romeo y Julieta, which is Romeo and Juliet, and it's goyaba and queijo, guava and mozzarella cheese, and then you sprinkle crema de leche on top. This is the actual tapioca flour. So I get it Winco in the Winco bins and it is just like a really strange textured uh, stuff. I think I have footage of the last time I made it that I'll put in here. But it's like a, just it's really, really interesting. So this is one of my favorite Brazilian desserts or like the start of it. It's a tapioca but I wanted to show you because it's like this weird consistency where it's liquid but then you like hit it and it's hard. Um, but yeah, this is how you make the flour. You just take the tapioca flour and add water, and then you'll like re. So then you'll, you're rehydrating it, and then you'll dehydrate it again. Um, this always makes a mess. I'm gonna see if I can do it on camera for you. And it needs a little more. Needs more flour in it. But but I wanted to just kind of show you how fun it is. It's usually a little more crumbly, so I'll add more. Mad length happening, mad weights, mad thickness, no interlocks, no manipulation, no retwisting. It teaches you the most about yourself and the most about patience and the most about confidence in this manner as well. So, I mean, all good stories always come to an end. And there is I did just add a little more flour, and that's what you kind of keep doing. It's how I discovered worked for me. Then I'll crumble it. What do y'all think? Should I make sweet tapioca or like a savory one? I I don't know. So thanks for watching, guys. I am loving this Travel My City project challenge. There's been several people who have like challenged me to go do different things, and have asked me really good questions about like why I'm doing it what it means, why it's important, and I think these are great questions. So I'm hoping to make, I'm planning to make some videos based on those questions and those challenges in the future. 